All right, so a pretty cool box showed up at the house the other day. I had pre-ordered one of those, uh, the International Low Boy sets with the Jeep and the, uh, the Stingers, or Bolsters, whatever you want to call them. And it finally showed up the other day. It, I think I pre-ordered it maybe, uh, two months ago, something like that. So anyway, I thought I'd make a video of, uh, getting it out of the box and seeing what this thing looks like and see what the first impressions, what the first impressions are. Could be kind of cool, might not be. You never know. It's always kind of fun to see. See just what we're going to get. Alright, well we got that static nightmare straightened out. I had to get out the old vacuum cleaner and save the day. Let's see what we got here. It was an International HX 520 tandem tractor and XL 120 HDG trailer. So we got a flap on this side, and nothing on that side. That's kind of that's kind of interesting, kind of nice. You don't have to rip the flap off trying to get the thing open. And uh, well, I guess we got the same thing here. I gotta tell you, that's a classy box. That's really kind of cool. All right. Old instruction manual. Let's see. How's this come out of here? All kinds of pins and stacks and screws. There's the Jeep. Oh, you get that? Oh, I see. I see. It's all too clear now. Maybe. There we go. It's coming. Maybe. There's a false alarm. There we go. All right, we got that out. We got a Jeep. We'll put you aside for now. Let's get the tractor out see what that looks like. Oh, that looks pretty nice there. Certainly uh, pretty decent. I wonder if the hood opens. Yeah, it does. I'll see the nice red uh, commons in there. Looks pretty nice. I'll set that down. Take a look at these bolsters. Some people call them bolsters. Some, some people call them stingers. I don't know what exactly the the correct terminology is. I've always known them as stingers because that's how they run on the back of the trailer. They have some pretty good looking wheels. I'll tell you what. All right, let's get this out of the way. We need to get some stacks out. You can't have a truck. Can't have a truck without stacks. That's just criminal. Get this thing opened up. Let's see. One of these. One of these. It's kind of cool. You can either have the straight stack or the curved. Pretty neat. You can pick your own. I guess it don't really matter which one you pick. Alright, so we got our stacks in there. We're we're big time now. We're doing alright. Let's see what we got for every size size. Can't have a big old monster loop. Wait a minute, where's the trailer at? I guess there's more. More to the box. We got a whole nother layer maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Kept thinking there was something missing that could put my finger on it. Alright, now we got something. Alright. Let's see, I guess that's for the tractor. I have our oversized load. Tucked right in there in the headache rack. And I got one for the trailer too. Oh yeah, look at there. We're heavy hauling now. Alright. Well, let's take a look at this tractor here. This tractor. Looks pretty decent. Undersized pretty uh pretty fair. It's surprisingly light. It looks like it ought to be heavier than what it is. But it really ain't too bad. 
You got your def tank there. The old nonsense. You got two fuel tanks. Pretty cool. Looking on the inside, the windows are up. The glass is a little bit foggy. But the inside don't look too bad. Definitely a good looking tractor. The motor detail is pretty good too. The hood's kind of stiff. Let's see, we got some steering. The old fat super singles. Well, not really singles, but you know what I mean. Fat steers anyway. The old mud flaps, look at that. All right. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this trailer. Let's see, got the old Norscott style uh, pin on the gooseneck there. This actually looks an awful lot like a Norscott trailer. It really does. Uh, I might have to investigate that here in a minute. Let's see, the outriggers seem to be stuck on. I don't think they come off. I think they're permanently attached. Look at that. So. You don't have no choice. You're going to be an oversized load. Whether you like it or not, buddy. What about the, uh, what about this neck here? How's that work? See, it's got the screw in there. I wonder if it just, uh, that just pops out. Yeah, I think it does. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know about that. It looks like it should pop out of there, but it don't really feel like it wants to. I see you got another another kingpin that'll screw in there, so it's got to flip up. It really just don't look like it does. Let's see, the little, uh, little trailer ramps are plastic. Hmm. That's got to be a Norscott trailer. It's got to be. It, it feels like exactly the same as the Norscott trailer. Hmm. I wonder if that's adjustable. Kind of looks like it is. If you take that screw out, you can slide the neck back and forth. Or not the neck, the uh, fifth wheel. Alright, let's see. Let's get the Jeep on there. And maybe it's... Well, how is that supposed to work? I better be adjustable because he ain't going to get the trailer on there otherwise. Yeah, look at that. It only fit. All right. To be continued. All right, we got to figure it figured out now. Turns out, if you back this screw up a little bit, you can see that it holds in the spring on the fifth wheel. So you kind of push it up, and that's how you can slide it in and out. Uh, oh my goodness, there is a landing gear. Well, that's kind of cool. That's adjustable. I don't believe it'll hold itself up, but it's cool that they slide out. All right, so we got our tractor. We got our Jeep. Then you get the old low boy here. And I can tell you, I thought this looked an awful lot like a Norscott low boy. And it is not. It is just different enough. You can see there they're different they're really not even the same size they're just a little bit different um but it looks similar though it, it did at least i thought it did but it's not it's it's just different enough all right so let's get the old uh get the trailer on there and then uh what we got i'll throw this on there oh maybe How's that work? I guess that just flips in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got something now. All right, so we're all put together now. This is a really nice uh, combination set or low boy set or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this was about $120 ish. And I think it's worth every penny. This is a fantastic set. It looks great. It The functionality is very good. Um, and I love the combination or the choice of having a, a the twin axle or single axle bolster. I think that's very cool. And uh, so to kind of explain why this trailer is the way it is... Um, Alright, so it's an XL120, which probably means that it's good for either 
a 120,000 pound capacity, like it's a 60 ton low boy, or it's good for 120,000 pounds overall. And, you know, including the trailer and everything. And I'm not really sure. I, I don't know. I'm not a, um, like a DOT numbers guy, but so if the trailers go for 120,000, you have the Jeep here and then you have the neck extension. So it puts the, the Kingpin about in the center of the Jeep. This is the Jeep. And you have four axles that's holding the center of half of the trailer. So if they gave you 20,000 pounds per axle, the front half of the trailer has an 80,000 pound capacity because of the four axles. And then you go to the rear and you have the three axles on the trailer plus a single axle bolster. So you have four axles and 80,000 pounds on the rear of the trailer. So overall, for the trailer set up the way it is, you have uh, 160,000 pounds uh, like physical capacity based on the axles. And then, so the trailer is rated for 120, so you can put whatever on there. As long as it's not over 120,000 pounds, you'll be good for it. And that that's one of the reasons why the trailer is set up the way it is. Another reason is to get your overall length um, long enough for, uh, it has a lot to do with like the bridge, uh, bridge laws, but I, I can't explain that. It's, it's still a mystery to me, to be honest. Um, but that's, that's why the, the, the trailer set up the way it is. If you had four axles on the tractor and then four straight axles on the low boy, you'd have a hard time steering that tractor anywhere because it would want to go in a straight line. And then on the trailer, you would constantly be eating up tires on the front, either the front two axles or the rear two, probably the front two axles, especially the front axle, because every time you would turn that, the, um, the front axle is going to drag sideways following the tractor. And it's just going to eat those tires. It's going to, you're probably going to break some wheels, um, and, and bend some things. So that's one of the reasons why they break it up the way that they do, because it's much more maneuverable, uh, as well as, you know, for, for weight laws and regulations and all that. So anyway, that that's, uh, again, like I said, I, I, I'm going to butcher it, but that's a basic explanation of why the trailer set up the way that it is. Um, but anyway, coming back around, this is great, a, a great set. It's really cool. Um, I'm glad someone has finally come out and made a decent heavy haul low boy. It's really cool. Um, it's fantastic that they included the, the extra bolster so you can run five axles in the rear or two or none if you want to take it apart. Um, it's really cool that uh, you can flip the, uh, the neck up and shorten it up. And that's what our instructions are for. See a little screw right there? You got to take that screw out and then you can flip it over and then it comes with pins. So if you want to change it back and forth a bunch of times, you can take the screws out and just put the pins in and it lets you change it uh, real easy, which is super cool. It's definitely very nice, very nice feature. So anyway, so I suppose that's going to go back up the raid. You don't want to haul it all stretched out. get your forklift or your loader or excavator or whatever it is you can pack the trailer up like that and you go down the road and you're only on five axles as opposed to uh eight so anyway that's about it for this it's a fantastic set i definitely recommend picking one of these up if you get the chance they're great they're good quality and the uh the the little bit of accessories are very cool it kind of sucks that you can't take the outriggers off and uh, at least I don't think they come off. I really don't think they do. They look like they're glued. Um, but it's still a great set. It really is. I am uh, very impressed and I'm very happy to have it. Uh, so that's about it. If you got anything you'd like to see, let me know. I might just have it. If you like the video, throw a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. And if you'd like to see more of what we have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. Thanks for watching.